So the one-dimensional Dirac delta function, section 1.5.2, um, it actually follows two really simple rules. Um, the rules are one, that uh, this curly delta function, Dirac delta function, is zero wherever x is not equal to zero. And it's, you know, infinity or undefined where x equals zero. And the second rule that it follows is kind of a weird rule. I don't think you've ever seen anything with a rule like this is if you integrate over all space of this Dirac delta function, right? And the answer is one, okay? Particularly, as long as you include that bump at x equals zero in your integral, the integral is gonna be one. If you don't include it, then it's zero, of course. Um, Dirac introduced this function because it helped him do the math. And mathematicians were upset with him because you, you can't just invent math that works. You have to have a theoretical basis for it. And, of course, um, this doesn't have a theoretical basis when it was introduced. I, I think mathematicians have worked out how you could actually derive this function and it makes sense and everything. But uh, one of the interesting properties of um, the Dirac delta function is if you take a normal function and multiply it by the Dirac delta function, then that's going to be equal to zero where x is not equal to zero, right? And it's going to be equal to something where x is equal to zero, okay? But the integral of this is going to equal f of zero, right? It, it kind of sort of picks out that value. It, it allows that, that function to, to, to move outside of the integral bars there. And um, the reason why it works is because only the value at f of zero is used any other value of f of x is completely ignored because the Dirac delta function is zero everywhere else. Um, and one interesting thing is often you'll see the Dirac delta function in this form, where you have the x minus some constant. And for that, you just have to think, when is the Dirac delta function going to be zero? Well, that's going to be zero when x is equal to a, and so it pulls out f of a for you. So that's what you're going to see it more, more commonly rather than going zero but some, some original point.